Hi, I'm Paul Gooden, standing in for Sean Lowry for the buzz for this week. Uh, Sean's on romance leave and couldn't be here today, so it's my pleasure to give you an update of what's happening in the Wagga market. Plenty to talk about uh, this week. Firstly, I want to bring to your attention the Fitzpatrick report, which we have released in the last week. Our marketing department has released. It's a great snapshot of what's happening in the Wagga market, what has happened in the last 12 months. Now, for the people of Wagga and those interested in real estate in Wagga, this is an invaluable guide as to what's happened and what the trends are. The signs look good for Wagga as far as land sales, unit sales, uh, median house prices and what's going on. So if you need a copy of the Fitzpatrick's report, we'd love to get it to you. We can email it to you or we can send you a hard copy. Just contact the office, it'd be our pleasure. Let me talk to you about quickly about the last quarter that we've had uh, in relation to the last quarter. We noticed that the figures uh, for this spring quarter are substantially higher than the figures we've had for the previous quarter. It's to be expected, Wagga's a strong market during the spring, there's lots of open houses, there's lots of sales, there's lots of listings, there's lots of inspections. And we know that these numbers uh, translate to high sales, also would translate to an increase in uh, the median value of a house in Wagga. Uh, supplier stock, it's a bit shaky at the moment where we find we're running a bit low in our stock levels. That means you might find pressure on pricing, you might find there'll be multiple offers on houses at any house you attend. There could be more numbers at each open house. So that's good for the Wagga market, that's good for uh, those wanting to buy. Um, let me talk to you briefly about what's happening in the market. Can I mention to you uh, our Super Saturday, our auction, big auction day we had last week. Uh, we had a 75% clearance rate. There was four properties uh, being auctioned that day and we sold through them. They being 74 Urana Street, which was sold by Matt Newley under the hammer. A magnificent auctioneer, Matt, new to the game, but very, very persuasive in his technique. 120 Best Street and 30 Kilda Avenue sold by Andrew McLeod under the hammer. The seasoned professional, wonderful auctioneer and a great result. From last week's activity, we noticed that our listings are up, uh, our sales are also up. The amount of offers we've received last week is down a little bit, and that's to be expected as we find we are a bit short on stock that there is less to make offers on. Uh, if you're out and about this Saturday, it'd be great for you to come and see some of the properties. Uh, one property in particular I'd like you to see is 152 Lake Albert Road, which I have on the market for 399000 it's a great property, it's five bedrooms, a swimming pool, great for summer. Uh, it's on Lake Albert Road near schools, it's near the, Stur uh, the Kringle Moor, it's a great little location. Also, Sean Lowry this weekend has 104 Mara Street, North Wagga, 205,000. It's a quaint, cute cottage, which is so appealing. I suggest you get out there, look in the Daily Advertiser to see the times or go to fitzpatricks.com, uh, our website to check out the times of those properties. Look, I'm Paul Gooden. Thanks for watching The Buzz. I hope that I can see you again next week and misplace Sean Lowry from this spot. Good day to you.